Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today in this video we are going to see how to make this beautiful crochet doily pattern. So it's a very easy project. So first let's see the measurement for this doily. So let's measure at the center here. So you can see it measures about 11.5 inches. So here 11.5 inches which is about 29 centimeter. So that's the measurement for this doily. And for making this I have used 4 ply acrylic yarn or fingering weight yarn in these three colors. You can also use cotton yarn or any other yarn of your choice and a suitable crochet hook. So this is what I have used and crochet hook I have used a 3 millimeter crochet hook for this project so it's a very easy project so let's get started first let's start with the magic circle so that's a magic circle and we are going to chain 3 1 2 3 so this chain 3 counts as a double crochet and we are going to work 15 more double crochet into the magic circle. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six. So like this we will work 15 double crochets. So here we have 16 double crochets including the first chain 3. Now I am going to pull this yarn tail and close the magic circle like this. So just pull as much as you can and close the magic circle. Then we are going to make a slip stitch on top of the first chain 3. So here I am going to make a slip stitch and finish this round one then for round two chain three which counts as a double crochet then work another double crochet into the same stitch here so we have two double crochets in the same stitch which is a increase so like this we will increase in every stitch so work two double crochets into the next stitch one and 2 in the same stitch again increase in the next stitch 1 and 2 in the same stitch again increase 1 and 2 in the same stitch increase in the next stitch 1 and 2 in the same stitch so like this we are going to finish this round. So here I am near the end of this round. I am going to make a slip stitch on top of the first chain 3. So here make a slip stitch. So that's our round 2. And for round 3 we are going to chain 3 which again counts as a double crochet. Then we will increase in the next stitch. So here the next stitch increase. That is 1 and 2 in the same stitch so one double crochet then increase so like this we will repeat work one double crochet in the next stitch and increase into the next one one and two in the same stitch and again one double crochet in the next stitch then increase in the next one one and two in the same stitch so again one double crochet in the next stitch then increase in the next one and two in the same stitch so like this we are going to continue the same pattern and finish this round so here I have finished this round so for the next round chain three and work one double crochet into the next stitch 
then increase into the next one and two in the same stitch then we will work one double crochet into the next two stitches one two then increase in the third stitch one and two in the same stitch then again work one double crochet in the next two stitches one two then increase in the third stitch one and two in the same stitch work two double crochets one two and then increase in the next stitch one and two in the same stitch so like this we are going to repeat the same pattern and finish this round so here I have finished this round and cut off the yarn we have four rounds in total then for the next round I'm going to join this cream color yarn so make a slip knot in the new color you can use any color of your choice so here I'm going to join the yarn where we finished our last round. So pull the yarn to the front. Then we will start with our round 5. So chain 3 which counts as a double crochet. Then work 1 double crochet into the next 2 stitches. So 1. So we will work the yarn tail along with our work then increase into the fourth stitch so 1 and 2 in the same stitch then again work 3 double crochets 1 then 2 3 then increase in the fourth stitch so 1 and 2 in the same stitch then again work 3 double crochets 1 2 3 then increase in the fourth stitch 1 and two in the same stitch then again work three double crochets one two three then increase in the fourth stitch one and two in the same stitch so like this we are going to repeat the same pattern and finish this round so here I have finished this round. So we are going to add three more rows of increase. That is in row six we will be working four double crochet increase, then five double crochet increase, then six double crochet increase. So I'm going to add three more increase rounds and I'll meet you there. So here I have finished three more rounds. So we have five, six, seven, eight. Eight rows in total. 4 in yellow and 4 in white you can also increase the size if you want so for the next round I'm going to join the green color yarn so here in this gap between the first and second double crochet I'm going to join this green color yarn so pull the yarn to the front then chain 3 1 2 3 which counts as a double crochet then work 3 more double crochets into the same gap so 1 2 and 3 so we have 4 double crochets including the first chain 3 then we will chain 2 then we will skip 3 grabs 1 two three and in the fourth gap we will work the next set 
so here into the fourth gap we will work four double crochets one two three and four then we will do the same chain two skip three gaps one two three and work four double crochets in the fourth gap one two three four then chain two again skip three gaps one two three and work four double crochets in the next one two three and four then again chain two skip three gaps then into the next work four double crochets one two three four so like this we are going to continue the same pattern around i'll meet you here at this end so here i'm near the end of this round i'm going to make a slip stitch between the chain three and first double crochet so in this gap i'm going to make a slip stitch and finish this round then i'm going to make a slip stitch into the next gap then we will start the round 10 here so chain three work three more double crochets into the same space one two three so we have four double crochets then chain two we are going to go into this gap between the second and third double crochet in the next set that is in this middle we are going to work four double crochets one two three four then again chain two work four double crochets in the center gap here one two three and four then again chain two work four double crochets in this center gap one two three four so like this we are going to repeat the same pattern and finish this round so here i'm near the end of this round so again going to make a slip stitch between the first and second double crochet here then slip stitch into the next gap then we are going to repeat the same pattern like the last round so chain three and work three more double crochets into the same gap one two and three then again chain two the center gap work four double crochets one two three and four then again chain two work four double crochets in this center gap one two three and four so like this we are going to repeat the same pattern and finish our row 11 so here i'm near the end of this row 11 i'm going to make a slip stitch between the first and second double crochet then slip stitch in the next gap here and we will start with row 12 
so one two three chain three which counts as a double crochet then work two more double crochets in the same gap and two so we have three double crochets here then we will chain two and work three more double crochets into the same gap one two three so we have three double crochets chain two and three double crochets so we are going to do the same into the next gap here one two three then chain two three more double crochets into the same gap one two three so like this we will repeat so work three double crochets into the next center gap one two three chain two and work three more double crochets into the same gap one two and three then work three double crochets into the next gap so one two three chain two and three more double crochets into the same one two and three so like this we are going to repeat the same pattern around and finish this round here so here i'm near the end of this round i'm going to make a slip stitch on top of the first chain three here then chain one and i'm going to cut off the yarn pull the yarn through so that's our row 12 so then we are going to work our last round for this doily so for that i'm going to use this yellow yarn again so we are going to work row 13 so i'm going to make a slip knot in the yellow yarn and join this in this chain to space so pull the yarn to the front then chain three which counts as a double crochet then work three more double crochets into the same space one two three so we have four double crochets here including the chain three then chain three we are going to make a picot so insert your hook into these two side loops here and make a single crochet then work four more double crochets into the same space one two three four then single crochet into the into this space right here then we will do the same work for double crochet in this chain to space one two three four then chain three one two three single crochet into these side loops and make a picot then work four more double crochets into the same chain two space one two three four then single crochet in this space right here then again work four double crochets into the next chain two space one two three four 
then chain 3 single crochet in that side loops and make a picot then work 4 double crochets into the same space 1 2 3 4 then single crochet into this space then again 4 double crochets into the next chain 2 space 1 2 3 4 then chain 3 single crochet into these two side loops and make a picot then 4 more double crochets into the same space 1 2 3 and 4 then single crochet into this space so like this we are going to repeat this same pattern around I will meet you here at this end so here I am near the end of this round I am going to make a single crochet into this space then we will make a slip stitch on top of the first chain 3 so into the third chain I am going to make a slip stitch chain 1 and I am going to cut off the yarn so that's the end of row 13 the final row for our doily now I am going to show you how I am going to hide this yarn tail so thread the yarn tail in the yarn needle then I am going to insert this through the next stitch and take it to the back then we are going to pass this through as many stitches as possible to make the end secure so gently pull the needle don't crush your work so I am going to pass this through some more stitches and gently pull the needle so I think that's enough I am going to cut off this excess yarn tail so in the same way we are going to hide all the yarn tails in our project so our beautiful doily pattern is now ready I hope you guys liked this video tutorial so hit the like button leave a comment below share with your friends and subscribe to my channel for more videos also hit the bell icon so you'll get all the notification for my new videos thanks for watching my video guys bye bye